Hey guys, Randy Cabrera with Florida Ski Riders, and today I want to answer a question that we get asked quite a bit on social media and different outlets, and that is, how do I override my IBR? The IBR is the Intelligent Brake and Reverse System on a sea -Doo, and occasionally you may get something stuck in there, a stick, a rock, a shell, and uh, you want to override it so that it stays up so that you can get in there very carefully and remove whatever debris might be in there. So, uh, I'm going to take you through the steps real quick on overriding the IBR on all models of sea -Doo's. Let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is put your key fob on the unit and then turn the unit on, waking it up. Don't start it. Once it's awake, hold in the brake. You're going to see it says override IBR. Then you're going to press the mode button. You're going to continue to hold the brake in and then you're going to push up on your arrows and you'll notice what it's doing right now is lifting the IBR bucket up. Once I get it all the way up, I can then let go. The system will stay like it is until I start the sea -Doo. Everything will return back to normal. Alright guys, so those are the steps to override your IBR just in case you should get something stuck up in there, a rock, a pebble, a shell, uh, who knows. Uh, very important factor though is you want to be careful when your hands are up in there just in case that IBR were to come down for whatever reason, uh, you know, it is, it is dangerous to have your hands up in there so do it with caution. But after you're done uh, with your IBR override and you want to go back to your factory settings, just start to ski up. Turn it off and everything is back to where you had it before, your trim is set back to where your trim was and so forth. But anyways, I hope this helps you out. If you ever need to override your IBR, those are the steps. Be careful doing it and uh, we'll see you in the next video.